What is um? So I meant last vlog was insane. Look at their toys. It's got BattleBot crap. Look at these fishes down below. These fishes. These fishes right there. Right where I'm zooming on, right? Those two, okay? Eek. Move. Go forward. Get the fish unstuck. <laughs> Dang, there's two stuck over there. Dude, guys. <laughs> okay, so now he's leaving. Gosh. <clears throat> he's gonna come back, don't you worry. Hey, <laughs> gosh. Hey, go. That guy's a. That guy's a goner. Oh my gosh, look at those tiny little fish. But that is the cute, uh-oh. There's a blue one. All right, guys, we're gonna go see my pappy in a couple of hours. I'm very nervous. We don't got that long to go. Is that a bee on a wall? I'm not lying to you. I thought I someone said that there was a Japanese hornet. I don't know. Is there a door? Can I open up the door? Crap, I can't. I Means I have to return this book tomorrow. So surprisingly, today's been terrible. I've cried many times. Today, or at least cried once, but oh, mother freak. Look, everybody, welcome to the pit of darkness right now. Okay, lights, up it up for me, please. Where's your light key? Wait, what? Why are the lights open? Okay, there we go. We walked in the pit of darkness for at least 10 seconds. Dude, I wish my friend Brett was here. Son of a bitch. Everybody's gone. Oh, no. No, why am I the only one here? This doesn't feel right. Hello? What the fuck? I'm all alone? Besides the people on the third floor. What? Brett, is that you, motherfucker? Go go now. Fuck this shit. Fuck this. Oh, I saw a face. Go. Oh, everybody's gone. Ah, ah, ah. I'm dead ass serious. Some person trying to scare the shit out of me. I'll see you guys at the hospital. This is gigantic. This is Gigantic Hospital. We're in it, guys. We're gonna go see my Mimi. Not my, not my Mimi. I'm just like, I'm a nervous wreck because I don't want to get stuck in the elevator. So I have some amazing news to end off today's vlog. I know it was a pretty quick vlog, but, um, so we are in the hospital now with my pappy, and so we didn't think it necessarily would go as we planned, but actually it went a lot better than what we planned. We actually got to talk to him. 
He's actually talking. He ate all of his supper, basically, except his green vines. And I'm just so happy that, you know, he's almost back to his normal self. Um, the thumbnail would look surprisingly weird as he's, you know, doing good. I ex why I choose this thumbnail is because of how good it was. And it's just, whenever I did this thumbnail, I thought, you know, okay, Pap's not going to do so well. But he actually did do pretty good. Now we can finally do what I've been wanting to do for a long time. Literally, it just, it, it hurt my feelings to see that Pappy was, you know, in the hospital, wasn't feeling good, you know, yelling and screaming and hitting the nurses and stuff. It, it, it scared me. And I think if you guys were somebody who lost their father and grandma and grandpa in like 16 months of each other, you would understand what I went through. It's scary and it's terrible. And I couldn't witness, you know, seeing my pap just die there. It just, it, it scared me to no end. I'm still going to be very scared, even though we think he's okay. Because, you know, anything can change in a bleak of a second. So I still am going to worry a lot about pap, but not as much. So if you, I think it should give you a hint that if I already said I'm not going to worry as much, but I still am going to worry a lot, is that going give you a sign that I'm actually going to worry really bad? I mean... It's insane. I, I, I could feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing, so cold these Whole frostbite they feeling I could tear you apart or I could go heal them Don't believe in fate, don't believe in ceilings I just need a taste and my mind starts peeling I don't pace myself, I grind on no kneeling Got lust for change, I just love the feeling uh. I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb 